So in this video, I'm just going to show you the uh, five early prototype um, which I will deliver to the backers for this particular uh, Kickstarter campaign. And so this is what you see for the early uh, five sets of uh, prototypes I have made. So this is the charging controller. As you can see, it's very nicely made out of an aluminium CNC machine, 6061. It's fully uh, sealed, as you can see, and it can be very easily installed by just screwing through the centre hole and through the stem cap on the bike, preferably aluminium fork type of bike very small it only um, matches the bar so this is how how thick this particular charger is as you can see so it's, it measures about 12.5 millimeters in terms of thickness across is about 36 36 millimeters in length it's about 45 millimeters but it's quite powerful and uh, this is one of the most powerful one that you can get uh, on the market this one puts 1000 milliamps on each port and they are water resistant I have uh, a videos for demonstrating that it's water resistant so please check out my uh, channel for the rest of the videos in terms of uh, testing our water resistant or the campaign videos or the no low free spinning as well and this is the actual dynamo twin dynamo systems and the way to install it is to place the resist nut through the brake lever uh, bolt so it can be quite easily installed yeah, I have a, one of the pictures there showing it's been installed on the road bike. So please check out check out my campaign. There were plenty of photos and videos and showing how to work and the actual uh, power output testing as well. And this is just the um, the bridge to uh, bridge the two uh, Dynamo power into one and. And comes a little connectors that you connect in the back of the uh, uh, charging controllers, which can be installed the entire system in about 15 minutes. And something about the controllers, um, it can take DC inputs all the way from 10 volt uh, to 55 volt DC. It can, of course, it can take AC as well. Um, it's got a built-in bridge rectifier and it will cap the voltage to about 47 volts uh, even if we're going very high speed so technically you can go for 100 kilometers per hour without any drama at all it is designed for a road bike therefore I always have that in mind to uh, make sure you can regulate the output at very high speed so please check out the videos on the campaign that shows you the uh, the actual uh, speed testing against the output with no load uh, due to the limit of my uh, uh, drummer I couldn't get any speed higher than 70 to 80 kilometers per hour but I have personally tested this out on the road for up to about 75 kilometers downhill with a road bike I have no bomb at all so I just constantly output the power to all my devices my <coughs> my USB lights <coughs> excuse me and my phone so basically I have um, both my um, both my front light and the rear light attached to one USB port and one USB port for charging my phone which is what I'm using now for recording all this so it's quite powerful so it can put out uh, 1000 milliamp hour each port or a total about 
2000 milliamp um, when you're riding above speed about 25 kilometers per hour uh, which roughly is about 18.5 miles per hour and the beauty about this is uh, the entire system only weighs 170 grams grams so this weighs about 40 grams the charge itself and the twin dynamo weighs 130 grams of which is very which is nothing compared to the dynamo uh, that you get on a hub dynamos weighs uh, 350 gram easily and they can only put out about three to six watts of power which is quite disappointing and this can put out 12 watts of power when you riding your bike above um, 24 uh, kilometers per hour you have to take into account of the uh, efficiency you know so 12 watts but technically you can get uh, 10 watts of power out of this charger which is would be plenty for your smartphone if you've got a camera so you know you can keep your cameras top up um, it's great for people who wants to do touring with their uh, road bike or even for everyday commutings you know keep all your gadgets top up or even you, if you're just doing training on your road bike you can have your lights uh, power up as long as you as you want and you can do training for six hours or seven or eight hours whatever you want you never have to worry about the light is going to um, running out of power um, which I found extremely handy that's one of the primary reasons why I started this project because I want to keep everything top up and also I want to tell you something about the uh, the twin dynamo itself so these springs are actually made out of stainless steel so what they want rust of course and they can be engaged and disengaged like I show, show you people in the other video um, so you just uh, push them out and they can be disengaged if you don't want any drag but the drag's very minimum so it just snaps in when, if you want to engage That's, the drag is very load dependent if you have all your gears top up and just have the light in the flashing mode I found that's very very little drag you hardly feel any drags on the dynamo itself because they're very small and um, it's definitely a lot a lot more lower drag than the one you will get uh, from the hub dynamo and uh, don't forget you can always disengage and it's very lightweight and it weighs 170 grams it is definitely one of the lightest and, and most powerful dynamo system you get on the market compared to the amount of power outputs and it's all metallic you know aluminium CNC machine um, as well as this part here the frame and the adjustable mounting the old uh, CNC aluminium uh, alloy um, 6061 so it's high qualities at the moment these are these are on Kickstarter for 250 Australian dollars and which is also included for shipping it's definitely the, it's the best uh, value for money and this this is the screws the bolt is actually stainless steel and this one as well so they are very uh, are, um, good in terms of quality and well built it's not one of those flimsy excuse me not one of those flimsy um, dynamo system you get on the market which I don't like it, it just sticks out on the frame the bottle dynamo I refer to they're just not something I, I'm looking into they just look ugly yeah so I prefer something nice and neat and compact when you install into a bike and um, so yeah that's pretty much it well I hope you guys can in, enjoy the talk hope it's not too long you know uh, so please back my uh, project on Kickstarter the link can be found just on the comment sections or on the detail section. Thank you for watching.